All right, we are live. So let me introduce this fellow right here. This is Dry Fire Faith. Um, we actually have really similar political views, but they, they're different in a very critical way. I believe strongly that things should be handled to where all peaceful options are exhausted before you go to violence. I yeah, uh, about that. And what what did that get you? What did it what did it get you? Seriously, absolutely nowhere. I mean, just being honest, dude. Obviously, every red, red blooded American, if it gets to that point, will take it to that level. He has a different point of view on things. That's not true. Oh, but before you say that, that's not true. You see, you keep saying that I want violence first. That is not true. In fact, I sent you a link to three videos that I've made, and they're all along the lines of peaceful pr protests. Nothing is, nothing is straight off violence. What are you debating? Because I'm pro protest too. Uh, you're for placating to the people who are being unconstitutional for one and for two don't listen to you anyway you went on earlier and you were touting that because people wrote the wrote to the atf the pistol brace issue is over as you yourself decided to put out in your post it is not over it didn't change anything it made no difference like two different levels of protest and you're okay with one but not the other uh, I, I see a difference in, in standing up and actually protesting your grievances as opposed to licking the boots or the hand of people, because that's not who I am. I'm not going to placate people who shouldn't be in a position to rewrite laws or redefine what something is, especially when the Constitution says that they have no power to do so. What are all the cons to placating to the people? Play, what do you mean? Begging for your freedom? Giving them the idea that you need their permission? Do you, you have don't headphones? Do you get a really? Do you have headphones? You're getting a really bad echo. I do have headphones. Give me one minute. Okay. Oh, that's my phone. My bad. That's not you. Uh, oh. All right. Talk quick. Quick. Hello. Okay. All right. So Hello. now, what are the cons again? <clears throat> I, I'm asking you. How, how is it not a con when you're going to the ATF? And, and telling them, hey, you know, you really shouldn't be doing that, even though they know that they're not supposed to do that. They know that it's it's against the Constitution, and yet the only reason that they're in this position to do what they're doing is because your grandma, your grandpa, my grandma, my grandpa, my parents, your parents, and even our own generation has sat by idle and allowed them to do it. And what Lightning's are the cons to civil war? Uh, I, I have, I have uh, probably four or five videos on the cons of civil war and how I don't want a civil war. I've said that very specifically multiple times. So if placating to them is, in fact, a peaceful option, wouldn't you want to exhaust that and make sure it doesn't work before you go on to civil war? Uh, I, I don't want to placate them. I want them to operate within the bounds of the Constitution, which is... <laughs> CRS Farms, again, look what that got you. Placating to your masters, blah, 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 asking them permission to beg on your hands and knees you have like dry fire faith is that you have callous knees please sir may i have some more i mean that's basically what you do what every red-blooded american does and here i am thinking that this country was founded on you know was I thought this country prided itself on being an un, unruly country, but you know what? It seems like everybody likes to be ruled by tyrants. Then you got guys like Raging Rob saying, oh, well, the tyrants in the back, back in the old days, they were beaten and bloodied and all that and paraded around the streets and all that. Well, he ain't going to do anything just like you there, Matt. CRS Farms, you ain't going to do a damn thing. You ain't. That's all it is. Talk, talk, talk. You ain't going to do anything. Simple. There's restrictions upon them. And if you read the preamble to the Bill of Rights, it says that these are further restrictions, implying that everything that came before the Bill of Rights is a restriction. It's, it's not an allowance for the people. It's a restriction upon the government. Oh, I know. I mean, we're all past the age where it's being told to us. But when was the last time the country actually operated to the letter 
of the Constitution, and what year would you like to rewind back to? Because I mean, I'm just well, working. I don't want to rewind right. back to any year. I think that we should just follow what the what the actual Declaration says. Is that when oh, they stop serving their purpose as our government and following the rules and serving the people through the consent of the governed, when they overreach that, we no longer listen. So it if, is you our leave a, if you leave a comment that you don't consent, that's not within your bounds of what you think's okay. Why, why do you even need to write them? Why don't Why don't we gather together directly on one day all across the nation, every city, every town, and tell them that we no longer consent? Why well, would we? Be great. See, uh, Dry Fair Faith, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. It doesn't matter if you have all the numbers. If you had, realistically speaking, 5,000 people outside the headquarters of the U.S. Marshal's office, the ATF's office, the FBI's office, all across the nation. And if you want to, you get as much people as possible, go to the state's capital government buildings and say, hey, hands off of our rights they don't listen what part of that do you dry fire faith and you crs by arms do not you clearly don't understand but i will say this though dry fire faith completely owned you matt in this debate he really did you chose to disrespect dry fire faith should have had a moderator. On a piece of paper and do it. Well, that's what the asseveration day was all about. That's what the emancipation of asseveration is about. I don't have the power to set it up. I mean, if you can. Well, what do you mean awesome. you don't have the power? You have a big enough voice to tear someone down. Just like oh, I sure. have a big enough voice to tear someone down. You have a big enough voice to promote an idea. I have a big enough voice to promote an idea. Everyone again, has that ability. We got 178 people in here. So if we set that up, where are us and 178 people going to do? Oh, you see, a brush a brush fire doesn't doesn't start the size of five acres. It starts small and grows. So what exactly is your plan? Like, what do you want to do? Because we only got like 78 days to stop the redefinition of a firearm. And that's what this is all about. We're trying to stop them no, from we'll as long as we want, because if we ignore what they say and we band together, then they have they have no grounds. They have no leg to stand on. We outnumber them far more than they have. We have. That may be true, Dry Fire Faith, but um, power does what it wants. That's the key factor here. Power does what it wants. I'm pretty sure there was a bunch of people who, who didn't like what Adolf Hitler was doing back in the 30s and 40s, but yet the plans to assassinate Adolf Hitler, they failed. That's until he decided to kill himself in uh, 1945 because he knew that he didn't want to be humiliated and humiliated by the freaking Russians because he knew he was going to be hanged, tortured, well, tortured first and hanged by the Russians. Adolf Hitler hated communism. Ain't that, ain't that something? A fascist who hates communism. And yet, he went around Europe, well, he had his minions go around U Europe, round up the Jews, well, disarm them, if they had guns, rounded them up, and him and uh, Himmler, the SS, Wolf and SS, murdered six million well millions of jews so what makes you think that the government's gonna not capable of doing that i mean they already did it to gary willis and chelsea kirk and sean rowe and uh so let's see uh duncan limp there's another big name right there with these gun confiscation raids but of course chelsea kirk she had had guns i guess but she spoke out against the local government. That was in the county next to me, Bedford County, Virginia. Yet she was killed for it. So, 
what exactly is the plan? Like, you're just saying ignore them and... I'm saying that all people, all walks of life, that enjoy all freedoms, not just firearms, but the freedom to speak freely, the, the freedom to not have their possessions rifled through without a, without a search warrant, without due process of law. I, I believe that all of our rights have been infringed upon and all of the restrictions that they have have been overstepped. I think that if we all come together and we acknowledge it and we look one another in the face and we say, you know what, it's about time that we have each other's backs. Whether or not you and me agree on everything, it should well, be we're about- we're not supposed to. It should be, well, no, we're not supposed to, but it's supposed to be our, about our posterity. That's, that's what the whole preamble of, of the constitution talks about. It talks about us making sure that your daughter and my daughter have a good world to grow up in. And if we're but just going to sit whole point of the, on a piece of paper, that's not doing anything because that's that's what we've been doing. That's the whole point of the comment section. It's our voice to let them know that we don't agree and what they're doing is unconstitutional. So, so when when all of the lockdowns were happening, right? When all of the when all of the the race issues were going on, were people just sitting down and writing, or were they actually going out and doing something? What got more attention, people writing or people doing? Well, we were locked down until they sued. Uh, what the fuck is our governor's name? Eberts. I think you froze. What'd you say? I'm sorry. We were locked down until Eberts got sued. Well, Texas, I, mean, I don't know exactly how it went there, but because we had our initial lockdown and then he reinstated it. And then a bunch of people complained to the house, the house or the Senate, I think the house. And so then they sued Eberts that, Hey, you can't lock down anymore. And that's where it ended. I mean, they, we, we were locked down in Texas as well. Does that mean that everyone followed it here? No. Do I expect everyone to listen to what they're told, especially when the government is overreaching? No, I, that's not what I'm telling you to do. I'm not telling you to go and, and light a fire and, you know, take on a Fed building like what See, you that's, were implying. That's the I was vibe I was getting. Like, I'm like, no, he doesn't. No. If you, if you go back nothing. and watch it, especially my 18 minute video, there's a whole portion where I say, I, I expect everyone to only withdraw their consent. I'm not expecting anyone to cause violence. But I'm not the expecting anyone to attack. Where the confusion came from is I made almost the exact same video. And I'm like, well, he says I'm wrong, but that's the same video. So maybe it's the whole part where he's explaining how treason should be taken care of with tart and swinging from a tree. So I'm like, maybe he's going for the go to war option because you can do nothing. You can. Well, if it takes hanging tyrants from a tree to make the bullshit stop, then, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on now. Got to look at the variables here. But then again, just because you use violence in the long term, would that, you know, would that be better off? I don't know. I don't have the solution. I don't have the solution to end the political BS that's going on out there. I don't. I really don't. Those of you asking, well, what, ha what have you done? What are you doing and all that kind of stuff? Like, I bled for something greater, bigger than myself for 15, almost 16 years as a volunteer firefighter. I'm pretty sure some of you can't say the same. Say the same. I would apologize for, for being condescending, but you know what? It, it, is, it is what it is. I swore an oath as a volunteer firefighter to help and save people, to protect property, to, to protect people's properties, and to uphold and support the Constitution of the United States of America. What oath did you, like, I'm talking about the uh, people who were never served in the military, never served as first responders. What oath have you took? Not one. Not one oath. So don't give me that bull crap, oh, what have you done? Get out of here with that bull crap. Protest, you could go to war, or there's the fourth option where you convince, what, 250 million people that... Hey, guns are good because I think we got like. It's not just population. about guns, though. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't just be about guns. That's why we have segregated ourselves, the 2A community, from the rest of all of the rest of the country. It's not just about the Second Amendment. It's about being able to freely speak what you want. With yeah, all this, that's what my channel's about. 
Well, I mean, I'm that might be what your channel about, that's what well, my channel's about. My channel's about freedom. Anyone but who I, believes in their Second Amendment should be just as strongly for the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Seventh Amendment, as they for uh, as they are for the Second. Oh, well, my video was about, hey, we should write a letter to try to stop reclassification. And, and my video is, is about not placating your masters and licking their boots just because you think that it'll benefit you at one point in time. Yes, but the downside would be civil war because if you openly defy them true. and they show up so, so, what are you so you need to tell me when martin luther king when martin luther king was marching through the streets exactly. was all out are effective they're they've been effective through history writing the letter is a form of a protest you're either if protesting is effective and it it it, it, it enacts change why doesn't it work half the time Seriously, I had this talk with Raging Rob before. It doesn't work all the time. Why do you think the defund the police movement failed? I mean, I keep saying this. They have two good ideas, getting rid of no qualified immunity and getting rid, getting rid of no-knock raids. If they successfully got rid of no-knock raids, you wouldn't be in jail, CRS firearms. But you keep on placating. You, you kept on writing letters and calling the ATF, U.S. Marshals, and FBI. Look where that got you. Seriously. Your submissiveness got you in jail. I mean, you didn't break the law. You didn't do anything illegal, but your submission, uh, submission is what got you there. You're submissive. Point blank. So I don't have a problem with you not. writing a letter. I have a problem with you writing a letter to an unconstitutional body that doesn't have the ability to tell us what to do with our firearms. No, no, no government body has the right to tell us what we can and cannot have. And the thing that everyone forgets about the Second Amendment is it also says a well-regulated mil militia being necessary to the security of a free state. So it's not just about guns. It's about your ability to exercise with those guns to defend yourself, your community, not just not just violently but also to help out your community if there's a tornado, if there's an earthquake, if there's a flood. That's what it's for. So, again, because I'm still kind of confused on your plan, it's just to pretend it doesn't exist? No, it is, it is to protest. And when you protest, if they want to become violent and attack people, then they should defend themselves. That's what I'm saying. I'm all for that protesting. That's... I. And, that, and that's why I told you to watch those three videos is because you were saying I was calling for violence, but if you watch all three of those videos, there's not one call to violence. Not one. Well, you were saying that the protesting was serving them, like bowing down. No, to them. no, no. I, I said I said that you writing to the ATF and giving them all of your information, regardless of whether or not you have to do it anonymously or give all your information, the fact that you're going to write someone who's already stepping on your throat seems a bit sad. So what protest would you be okay with? I would be okay with people gathering together with their numbers in public and showing the government, showing the ATF that they're not going to take it. How is that different than writing an email besides? Yeah, that's that's there? a lot different. See, because this, this ticky tacky, this is all black and white. It's just a piece of paper. And I've said it many times, hold up a piece of paper right now and ask it to save your life. It won't, it's not going to only you can only you have the, complete and utter duty to make sure that your wife, your daughter, and yourself are taken care of. And instead, what we're doing is we're writing on a piece of paper, hoping that the paper is going to be everything. So you're fine with protesting. You just want protesting escalated to a higher level. No, I, I don't want it escalated to a higher level. I want people I'm not going to lie, man. CRS, do you actually listen to people? Dry Fire Faith is not calling. He, he is not once called for a civil war. Do I agree with them on that? I mean, it doesn't really matter what I believe, uh, what I believe or <laughs> agree with anybody or disagree with anybody. Personally, I think violence is going to solve this problem. That's what I believe. But you do realize that the, you know, the Renos, the Republicans and the Democrats, they're two sides, three sides, whatever. They're just the same. And they have the your local and state cops and your, the feds in their back pockets. And those people, you're going to fight. 
when things get real, get re get messy. That's why I keep on questioning the integrity of uh, the so-called patriots. Because they have to think about these things. And out there in the real world, the, you're in the middle of a, a war. You have to know who's loyal to you. You have to know who's trustworthy. You have to know who's got your back no matter what when things get messy. Or when someone who is dis, who's not loyal to you, dishonest. You got to think about these things, dude. You're just, I mean, spouting off BS that you know nothing about. Dry Fire Faith here, I mean, once again, he completely owned you. He took you to school. I'm school. getting ridiculously confused of what exactly the disagreement is and what you're saying we should do instead I'm saying don't bow down to the ATF and beg them for permission to say, please, please, oh, stop, don't do it. Just like Oliver Twist, please, sir, may I have some more? It's the same thing. Every and time something like this happens, that's, that's protesting. all that people do is they sit there and they write, to, write the ATF and year after the year, the ATF keeps coming back after gun owners, right? And so what you're doing changes nothing. The same thing keeps happening. That is the definition of insanity, doing the same thing and expecting a different result. It's not happening. Protesting is a nonviolent demonstration of something yeah. you disagree with. I, I, no, I'm talking about protesting nonviolently in person, not behind a keyboard. So protest nonviolently in person. That you should That's never just go with one attack. You should have a multi-prong attack. So why and, and do you? Speaking, think, but what, but you think it's okay to beg the ATF for your freedom? I'm saying that's another okay form of protest. Protest is protest. To, to beg for freedom. So if you have to beg for it, guess what it is? It's not yours and it's not free. What's to say you have to beg? You could write exactly what you're saying you, right you here said, in yeah. this video. I just asked you if you have to beg and you said yes. And now you're going to say well, who fine, said I'll you say no. Beg? So if you could take exactly what you're saying right here in this video and write it to the ATF. Is that still not okay? No, I don't think so. You're acknowledging them. Why would you acknowledge them at all? They have no ability to tell you what to do. ridiculously confused with what you're looking to accomplish. First I'm, off, I'm really, let's I'm really get over. confused as to what you think what, you're going to do. Next, would you like people to wear yellow what, stars? Or I don't understand. What is your disagreement with me? Because I went through your videos and we line up like perfectly in our political views. I Some of them, yeah. Some of them. I just like randomly clicked on videos from God to what we believe about the Second Amendment to everything. Like I didn't find like why why does he have a problem with me? And then I'm like, but okay, I so don't have a problem with you per se. Well, I mean, after after some of the things that uh, you said and the way that you responded, I have a slight problem. But you know, there again, I got my digs into, so you could have a problem with me, and that's fine. What I have a problem with is when you, with such a large platform, are telling people to literally turn. To the people that are stepping on them and say please stop oh you can meet in person do whatever the hell you want i'm just saying this is another form of protest but you said if there was a it. better idea if there was a better idea then you would promote it do you not think yeah. that people gathering together in every city every every town all across america on the same day at the same time with the same voice you don't think that I've that's already promoted like that suddenly writing on a on a computer there's nothing wrong with doing that i've already promoted it in videos so, you you promoted that. It, yes. The video I even put a little screenshot of in the video I responded to yours. I was like, hey, this is how we should protest in Virginia. W weren't you the one that said that Virginia was uh, was a honey trap? Like, a, I mean, yeah, I it, was, it was stupid. I, I thought the same. And, and that's what I'm saying. Because they brought the people in there and the governor. And they corralled them and they put them inside of a fence. And every Oh, so what's the difference between those people who went into that fence and you riding to the ATF? That's what I'm trying to say. Nothing. There is no just, difference. There's right. no difference there from riding no to the ATF to being in the fence or shutting down the interstates like the BLM. It's still a nonviolent protest unless you make it violent. That's where it separates. Is there or is there not violence? Therefore, it is a nonviolent so protest. Only, they all only... fall into the same category. So only exercise one freedom at a time. So if you're going to protest, only protest. Have oh, you, I have you heard, that? With, you heard of the Open Carry there. Texas movement? I wouldn't. You know, Murdoch, Pizzotti, Matthew Schwartz, all of these people from you know 2008 and on. How, how they they 
showed how facetious, what, how facetious it was here in Texas that you could open carry a rifle, a long rifle, but you couldn't open carry a handgun. So what they did was they got large groups of people together and they all carried long rifles and no one got arrested. They all stuck together. And what happened? Things changed here in Texas slowly but surely. I think that that is far more effective than sitting down on the computer and writing someone who doesn't care what you have to think anyway. Well, uh, dry fire faith, it doesn't always go according to plan. Doesn't always work that way. I mean, the contrary opinion that violence never solves anything is wishful thinking at its worst. Especially those who believe that violence should be used as a last resort. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, like I keep saying, like I said, <clears throat> CRS, he did, he did nothing illegal, but his submission, submissiveness got him where he is today. In jail. In prison, whatever. Is there are things that I agree with the uh, dry fire faith? Yes, especially when he says that, you know, people like uh, CRS farms placate to their masters, perpetuating the definition of insanity and all that. Yes, but there are some things, there are a few things I don't agree with him on. But I will say this dry fire faith completely owned Matt CRS farms. Sorry, Matt. I mean, it's the truth. He owned you. Maybe that's the reason why you deleted the live stream to begin with. So, can we agree there is no difference between a violent protest? Or, I said that wrong. Can we agree there is no difference between a protest as long as it's not violent? A protest mm -hmm. is a protest. Uh, no, I, I, I disagree. There, there is a difference in, in the protest that you're promoting and the protest that I, that I think that we should... Follow. I, I don't think that you're understanding what I'm saying. No, you see, I don't the, think executive, I am the executive branch of the United States government does not have the ability to make laws. They enforce laws. Congress makes laws, right? And the 10th Amendment says that as long as the Constitution hasn't restricted something and specifically said that they can't do it, then the state can make a law saying that they can do it. Well, any state that has a gun control law is completely opposed to the Second Amendment. Do you see what I'm saying? So how can the ATF go in and judge, jury, executioner, go to your house, take your guns and say what you can and cannot have and then kill your dog? No, we're trying to stop them to re redefine. Well, you're not way. stopping them. You're, you're writing them. You're, you're telling them, hey, please don't do that. So then if it doesn't work, we should meet in person and protest that way. This would be like the first. Why are you? Why skip over the first step? I don't, I don't see that that's a first step. I mean, for, for uh, how old are you? Not to be, not to be rude, just like a rough idea, like mid thirties, late thirties, early forties. How old are you? Right in there. So it, your whole life, have you ever seen a point in time where they weren't coming after someone's freedom? Whether or not it's no. the first amendment or the second amendment or the fourth amendment or the fifth amendment. Have you, have you not seen any of this your whole life? And what have people done? They've sat back, they've made videos and they've typed on their computer. What's changed? Nothing. So the M855 and the pistol brace, like... The pistol brace didn't it, change. You yourself said that it's coming back up. Maybe. What, what do you mean? Maybe. Up. Oh, but th that's the thing. The fact that we still have to worry about it shows that it is ineffective. Well, I'm going to have to agree with the dry fire faith there. I mean... But either way, all the, the all that suing and voting and protesting, it's still ineffective. I mean, look at the 2020 presidential election. Everybody said, "Oh well, the 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 votes were stolen. It was a fraud." I'm I'm not too sure about that. I don't have the facts. The the evidence to say that it was election fraud. No, they just wanted Trump to be in office because that's all they care about. Just like the Democrats, they care about control. That's what everybody cares about. Control. Like the freaking nurses and the doctors said before, you know, the COVID 
19 pandemic came here, well, whatever, they said, we got to control the COVID-19 outbreaks. Uh, well, um, how did that win again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Here we are dealing with the Omicron variant. We got to deal with the Delta variant, all the other variants. That's what they care about is control. Just like freedom, control is an illusion. I hate to use a Jurassic Park reference, but it's in today's day and age, it's true. That's what people care about, control. That's what the cops, the feds, the military, that's what they care about is control. Controlling and suppressing the public. Anyway, so yeah, I guess that's what your problem was, is you think that you shouldn't write the ATF because that would be bowing down or acknowledging their authority. I would Correct. think that that was one problem. Another problem that I had is that you didn't give me enough credit to think that I have my own opinions and formulate my own ideas and that I have to run to someone else to have them tell me what to do because that's not who I am. Well, because it's patronizing. You're talking to me like I'm 12. And I'm like, what the fuck? And uh, then there was only other one person that talked like that. And I'm like, dude, I've never disagreed with you on those opinions whatsoever. But yet I keep getting hammered with them constantly. I'm like, I don't fucking disagree. What, I, why are, I don't. I don't have anything to do with what someone else does. I have no control. I, I know that, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have assumed. You should never assume. But it was just so similar. I'm like, I, I, I can put it together. I can understand why you might think that, but you know, maybe next time say something directly to me. Possibly. Possibly. You apologize for making it making an assumption, but why did you do it in the first place? See, that's one thing I don't understand. Some white white woman calls the cops on some black dude, some black couple, or some interracial couple, I don't know, like calls the cops on them and then later apologize for what happened, what transpired. I'm like, dude, you're the one that called the cops on them because, you know, blah, 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 because of blah, 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 blah. Why are you apologizing now? You should stick. You know, the thing is, people don't stand by their opinions. Like that cop who said, oh, challenge you to a boxing match, a boxing fight, whatever. But then he said, y'all just fell up a bunch of bull crap. Oh, he made a video. I made a video about this cop. Yeah. I challenged him to a game of hockey and I said, I'll be your hockey Barry. I'll box with you. <laughs> well what about the defund the ATF thing somebody wants to know about that how you feel about that well I mean I, the ATF is unconstitutional as is so they should they should absolutely defund it it should have no money anyways they should have well, no there's, there's an argument that that wouldn't work you would have to go to def to the NFA, you got to get rid of that because otherwise the ATF's job. I agree. Is that's why I picked June 26th as the day for a separation day because that's when the NFA first came out. Yeah, and then stop reading the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I, I like shit, so I got to really lean in there to read it. Oh, yeah, because uh, if you defund the NFA, that the idea is that it was going to go to the FBI and they got way more funding, so it would be a way more effective federal agency. Obviously, we've all seen what the FBI can do. Nothing. Well, they usually do the fucking raids for the ATF. Like, even the raid videos I've seen. Raids, it's been the Waco. Yeah, what, what, what do they do that's, that's considered legal? They, they, they commit crimes against American people. They perpetrate oh, we're, crimes against them. We're all on the same page with them being on constant. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not we saying that we're not. I just think that we should be on the same page when it comes to... I mean, I, I know you don't like when I say it, but it is placating. It, I don't think that we should placate people who think that they can lord over our freedom. It's not given by them. It's not given by government. It's it's not given by a piece of paper. It's given to you by God Almighty. You're born with it. And I think that we should exhaust the option of sending them letters and telling them how we feel and how that is unconstitutional and that. But I mean, but we haven't been doing that since prior to Obama. Yes, uh, so I mean, five five was the big one that everyone brings up. 
But what did it do? Oh, they left MA55 alone because they were going to reclassify it as armor piercing. And we're like, well, you can't because this is the definition for armor piercing. And that does not fall in that definition. So then what did they do after that? We had the Russian arms ban. You, you can't have any, any imports from Russia anymore. None of their firearms or their ammunition. Yeah, but that wasn't an ATF thing. That was uh But what I'm saying is it all falls under the same uh, thing. It didn't stop anything. It didn't no, stop nobody the government disagreeing entity with from you taking on away that. ammunition from the people. Nobody's disagreeing with you on that. But I'm saying like that was something like we didn't even get a chance to fight it up. What the hell do they call that? It was an executive there order. No, it, there's something there's a different word for it. You talk about high school. No, it was right on the tip of my tongue because they got pissed off at Russia for something. So they put a blah on importation. What is that word? Uh, embargo, is that what, what you're saying? Embargo, that's it. <laughs> Woo, got to. But yeah, so that was like an embargo thing. So we never even got a chance to protest that or anything, which was bullshit. And and that's that's what I'm saying. If if the government as a whole, just like you're saying, that that wasn't the ATF. That was another form of government, but it's still under sure. the executive branch. The executive branch can only enforce laws. That's what I'm saying. So they are operating outside of the Constitution, just like executive orders. That is outside of the executive branch's powers. The first president to do it was Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, something about selling to uh, what the hell is that called? Uh... The country that made the Titanic. Ireland. And then fucking some shit came off of that. Made the whole corporation thing. Well, I agree. Time to... Damn it, the chat's moving fast. If you see any comments you want to address, feel free. I'll have to hop on my phone. Give me just a minute. Time for glasses. Oh, that's what. <laughs> maybe so. Maybe so. They're going to shoot dry fires, dog. I'm sorry, what? Oh, some just comment. Most of them are not worth reading, but you can pick out some good ones here and there. Titanic was a false flag. They're going to shoot dry fires, dog. The very fact that you say that shows. That's that's how out of control this government is, especially this government agency. If they're willing yeah, to shoot, what do you do about it? Nothing but speaking. That's pretty. It's pretty sad. Why would you talk to those people and beg them for anything? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, but I understand their point. Like I have the same point too. If I see an option to try to resolve it, you know, without trading blows, I'm down. Like whether that's write a letter. Well, that's that's why I said protest. I don't have a problem protesting. I have a pro problem placating. I have a problem getting down on my knees and begging them for anything. I don't beg them. They work for me. They work for you. But again, you're putting stipulations on what qualifies as a protest. And I think that's where we had our big disconnection. No, I mean, like a, a, a protest, a protest is when, when people gather together and speak together. What you're saying is people should gather together and beg together. I'm saying speak. I'm saying demand that they give us every last bit of respect that we, that we, we deserve. They they receive their powers from the consent of the governed. They don't just get to walk around willy nilly and say what they can and cannot do. Yeah, I don't think anybody disagrees with that. But just because you say it's begging doesn't change the fact that you're doing the exact same thing. If you're oh, hey, what's up, Rex? Suburban Homestead Outfitters. Declaration of Independence was a signed letter, but were they were they sending a letter begging for something, or were they saying, hey? You no longer have control over us, Rex. What were they saying? Were they well, asking? Step, were they telling? Step one. Like, no, step one was them telling, the steps. demanding. They were demanding. I can read the whole declaration right now. They weren't Don't asking. They were We've demanding. We've all been through it. I'm just saying they, they they were demanding we that the government that the them. that the English crown left them alone. They weren't saying please don't. They said no more. We're free. We are independent. They declared themselves independent. Yeah, somebody actually had called me today at the shop and had a really good idea for a protest. Mm, didn't put it on there. But yeah, so I really don't think we have a difference. I mean, if I, I still disagree. <laughs>
okay. But yeah, that was my confusion. I'm like, fuck are we di disagreeing on? I, I mean, I agree with what everyone is saying. We shouldn't be infighting. You know, I agree. But it should be no, about No, no, freedom. not the info. And, and they, when you were saying that I just hold on, hold on, stop, uh, stop at infighting. That's actually very important because that's how ideas get melted down and go through the crucible and they determine what idea is good and what is bad. If none of us in fought. Well, sorry, CRS farms. I'm going to, have, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. Uh, dis disagree. One person likes having permits to conceal carry while another wants a constitutional carry permitless carry another person wants to open carry because that person that pre prefers to open carry you see what i'm saying here that infighting can be a problem i actually touched up on that it's better to have a small community than a big community that causes problems because of people who are different different minds different opinions than or a no community at all you see what i'm saying here there are some people who don't agree with uh, constitutional carry the people in the 2a community and all that kind of stuff there are some people who prefer to open carry but of course you got the concealed carriers dividing the gun owner community saying oh you're stupid if you open carry uh, 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 uh. Yet they, they're the ones going around saying, when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. Shut your freaking mouth. You ain't going to do anything. Just acting tough just to get all the likes on freaking YouTube or Facebook. Get your freaking 15 minutes of, of, of fame. That's all you're doing. That's the reason why you want those likes. And usually those type of people have like, what, one or two or three uh laughing emojis whatever it is and i'm one of them i'll laugh at the people who uh say those things oh when the law is unjust the man is not only right to disobey it, he's also obligated to do so the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants when tyranny becomes law rebellion becomes duty when is enough enough <laughs> i'll laugh at those people's comments for a reason because everybody says that they're a patriot until it's time to do patriot shit. Everybody says they're an outlaw until it's time to do outlaw stuff. Simple as that. Then we'd all just be jumping on one single idea and that's what would get used. Go ahead. May, may I say one thing? Yeah, go ahead. But there's that's a difference the between being productive and unproductive. And when I first asked you, I just wanted to have a debate. And then I thought that we were, I thought you were asking me what you wanted the, the debate to be about. And so I gave you my ideas. I didn't realize you wanted a plan. I have a plan. I've had a plan. You can clearly see the date on those videos is over a year old. It's not like I'm just talking out of my rear. I think that there's a difference between you going to your subscribers and being genuine and telling them, hey, this guy differs from me. I don't know exactly what we differ on, but we're going to talk about it. And instead what you said was that I wanted to go to war. I wanted to fight. I wanted to burn down federal buildings, hop in a truck and blow things up. That is nothing like what I said. That's a lie. That's very disingenuous. Yeah, anywho, your first video, yeah, that was, I just shared it to my community because I thought your heart was in the right place and I was just missing something because I couldn't find a difference. But then it just kind of unraveled from there. Well, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to speak for myself as opposed to speaking for me. So thank you. Well, no, I wanted to get you on the channel so you have a bigger platform. Because it seemed like you really, really had something strong you wanted to say. I just was having a hell of a time trying to figure out what the hell it was. I'm still not 100% sure. Like, I don't understand what the big problem is with the letter. Like, fuck it. Let them protest in that way. And then also let people to protest in this way. Get people to protest in this way and hit them from a multi-angle attack. Playing so hard, playing stupid. That's the comment section is more important than this debate. Well, yeah, it's definitely important. It gets people's attention, but yeah, I lost it. 
But anyway, uh, is there any other major points you wanted to bring up? I mean, I, I you can't I mean, you can't put a gun in front of the camera though. Oh no, I I'm, I wouldn't do that. I'm smart. I enough thought I heard one move, and I thought you were gonna be like you know like out no. of my cold dead hands or something. So no, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to get you in trouble in any way, shape, or form. I just want people to be able to hear both sides of the argument, and that's and that's what I'm saying. I know that in my videos, a lot of times. Uh, I do get worked up and I'm very passionate about what I speak about. And it's it's not because I, uh, I'm i grasping for views. I've never been monetized, don't want to be monetized. I've been offered third party sponsors, don't take them. That's not what it's about. For me, it's about coming on here and spreading freedom so that my posterity, your posterity, and all you viewers, that all your posterity will live free and not on their knees, not begging for anything. So yeah, like I said, uh, a separation day, if you guys would uh, go to my last video that I put up, ignore the video, pause it, and just go to the description, and there are three videos that you can watch. That pretty much describes what I think that we should do. Either June 26th or June 27th, whatever falls on a weekend to make it easier for most people. I think that we should all get together at our going? student halls. I'm sorry? No, you should got, You guys should actually go to one central location. For real, if you want to make I a difference. I, I, I disagree. I mean, if you, if you look at all of the things that have gone on in uh, in the UK where they're protesting lockdowns, it's not just in one central location. They're in, they're in multiple places. If you look at the Yellow Vest protest, it was in multiple places. It wasn't in one place. So I think that you... there should be stuff on the East Coast. There should be stuff on the West Coast. There should be stuff central. There should be stuff, you know, mountain. I think that we should be all over everywhere. There are enough people. There are plenty of people in the United States. But aren't you protesting the rule change? I'm protesting the overstepping of our government, especially with the ATF doing what they're doing. I'm protesting them throttling our freedom, not just the Second Amendment. It's about all freedom, not just one. We can't be greedy and just hoard over one and protect only one. We have to guard them all jealously. Oh, I know, but that was a focus-driven video specifically against... I understand that that's your focus. And what I'm saying is I think that that's probably another thing that you're missing is you're focusing on one aspect of freedom. I want to focus on all aspects of freedom. So as to include everyone, because, you know, we live in an inclusive society now. Dry Fire Faith brought up a good point, because a lot of people be believe that the second is to protect the first. They, they say stuff like that, or they focus more on the Second Amendment. They go around, and they say, my God given Second Amendment rights, but they don't realize that that the rights that they have, that the amendments, they clearly recognize that you have these rights that you were born with, natural rights. They protect, these amendments protect your rights from government overreach, yet the government still overreaches, overstep its bounds. Let's see. Quickly in the comments. Anywho, uh, th was that all we were touching on? I mean, I, I guess so. You're uh, you're the one that put up the community post. I didn't even know that you were doing a video until a bunch of people told me, and I checked my phone. So yeah, I didn't know either. I was pretty surprised. Appreciate you coming on, though. Well, like I said, I'd be here. I'm I'm not afraid to talk to anyone. I can speak for myself. As you can see, no one's holding my hand. It's just me. Right on. Is there anything that you would like to talk about? No, I'm. I was just curious what the problem was. Well, I, it sounded I think, important. I think that if if you, you want to understand, you could, and I think that if you want to ignore, you can. I think that it's up to each and every individual to either look into what I'm saying or to ignore what I'm saying. You can either be part of the cult of personality and just listen to what someone says because that's that's your team, you know left, right paradigm, red team, blue team. I think that you should be more open and willing to turn on your ears and have a more uh, more in-depth Socratic thought process as opposed to... Oh, by the way, uh, for people saying, oh, well, that Red Reaper guy, he wants a civil war. No, I don't, once again.
I believe that the violence can solve problems. Do I believe that nonviolence can also solve problems? Yes. But sometimes you're going to have to get down and dirty and take what is rightfully yours. I mean, some of you were bullied in high school. How do you how did you stop a bully? Um, how did you stop the bully? Hmm? You're going to have to be violent. You're going to have to punch the bully in the face. Simple fact of life. You're going to have to stand your ground. Stand up for yourself. Like I said, do I want a civil war? No. I'm not prepared for it. And you, some of you may say, especially the SHTF preppers, you all go around and you say, oh, I'm prepared for a civil war for SHTF. Are you really? You may be ready for it physically. Some of you ain't ready for it physically or mentally, but that's the key there. Are you ready for it mentally? Take it from me, a firefighter. When you see some horrific stuff, it gets to you. It really does. I've seen all sorts of horrific bad things that happen to good people. And after, you know, what transpired, it could be a murder vehicle accident. Uh, who knows? A shooting, all that. I've seen it. I haven't seen it all, though. The moment I, I, I say I've seen it all, I might as well hang up my boots, hang up my uh, turnout gear, and say bye-bye to the fire, fire department. But like I said, do I want a civil war? No. Because I know I'm not ready for it. Simple. It's simple, really. For those of you saying, Oh, you want a civil war. You want a civil war. Shut your freaking mouths. To just snap two decisions and, you know, really think something through before it's just something that, that we all do. I mean, people compile lists for a reason. You know, lists aren't just there. I think that it's it's very funny that all of all of us make jokes about the ATF and how how evil they are, how they're going to take out, you know, take out your dog. They're going to take you out. They're going to take your grandma out. They're going to kick your door in. Right. All of these things. People make jokes about it all day long and then they want to turn around and then they want to ask these very same people that they think are evil and, you know, the epitome of disgusting. They want to ask them for help in any way, shape or form. They're not listening. pretty sure most people just want to say, hey, that you can't do that. It's unconstitutional, but it's just me. I think that they know it's unconstitutional. I don't think that it matters whether or not we write them a letter telling them, reminding them. I'm pretty sure they know. Has a plan. But as I was saying, uh, you know, on June 26th or 27th, whatever falls on a, a Friday or Saturday evening that I think that people can get together all around the nation in every town, every city, every state capital, whatever whatever you want to do, get together and protest, not just for one freedom, but for all freedoms. And I also have a video, it's called, Are You Free? If you watch that, I break down, you know, the Bill of Rights and I show you that the Bill of Rights are nothing but paper right now. And it's not because I don't believe in them. It's because we have ignored them. We, we have not given them teeth. There is no backbone to it right now. All we do is say, call your representative, write the ATF, and then set complacent and say, well, I did my part. No, you, didn't. you were looking for Friday or Saturday? Uh, yeah, what, whatever June 26th or 27th is, if it falls on a the, Friday or a Saturday. The 26th is a Saturday. Well, then 26th, June 26th, 2021, asseverate. Asseverate is just a fancy word for declaration, so declare your freedom. That's what I have to say. Be free. Let them know that we're free and that we're not going to go away quietly just saying, please, sir, may I have some more because I don't want any more. I want to be free and I want my daughter to be free. And you said you wanted to look into your daughter's eyes and tell you did everything peaceful. So do I. But I also want to tell her that I didn't get down on my hands and knees and beg them because that's not what I'm about. That's not what this country was founded on. Those aren't the ideals that everything was started with. Individual liberty, minimal government, very minimal government. I don't think anybody disagrees. I don't still don't understand what the problem with the letter is. Like, 
do that's it. i mean you don't have to right? and that's fine that, that's that's completely i know but it came off like you were like choice. don't do the letter like i don't think you should specifically i i truly don't think that you should but if you want to that's on you that's your choice that's fine i don't think that we should because it lends credence to their authority over you they so have was protesting outside their building if you want to protest outside the atf headquarters you can go right ahead so what would you be protesting if you're not protesting them i i'm i'm protesting the corrupt government as a whole not you're just still a small acknowledging them no matter how you do it you're still acknowledging them there's no way you can protest them without being like hey you exist there, there's see but the difference between the declaration of independence and what you're doing is that the declaration of independence told them no more you have no control over us they said we are now free we are independent from you and what you're saying is please 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 don't do that that's not nice what's the downside to sending this letter What's the downside of having a yeah, yellow why, star? Why are you actively going around trying to stop people from doing it? Because I, I think that it's a horrible idea. I know, but like seriously, like pros and cons, like it may work. And if it does, great. If it don't work, okay, well, then we so, try something so else. Pros, pros as in it works, right? As in it works, then just like I said with the pistol brace, did that work? It's not a question. I'm talking about this particular letter, like because you're actively fighting it. Oh, like well, not well, just well, saying well, I'm well, not doing well, one well, because that's, tried and true that method. anybody could do. But you're, you're like, saying hey, that nobody writing the ATF is tried and true, and that we've done it multiple times and we've come out victorious. I say no. You 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 tout one victory over the M eight five five or whatever the fuck, right? You tout. Oh, pardon my language. I'm sorry. I I am a bit salty. No, you can but, curse on here. It just can't be repetitive. I, I I don't want. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want people to think that that's who I am on a daily basis because it's not. When I get worked up, of course. But I don't. You know, I don't think that the ammunition ban was was a very big victory especially when you pair with it you saying that there was a pistol brace ban and then all of a sudden we were victorious over it and now all of a sudden we're in fear that it's going to be stricken down again so how how was there a victory if it's still on the chopping block so the con is it may or may not work no the, the con is a your your amassing all of your information to people who kick in fucking doors and kill dogs and two you're acknowledging that they have some sort of power over you. And three, it is ineffective and has been proven ineffective. Well, regardless how you protest, you're acknowledging them. And if it does work, boom, that's awesome because that was a nonviolent protest that worked. And then if it doesn't work, well, now we got to look at pros and cons of civil war. Because, I mean, if you're just yeah, not acknowledging them. Isn't, isn't that a pro or a con either way? What's that? Because you yourself said that if you exhaust all peaceful avenue so so where's where's your line exactly that's what no, I'm, I'm asking say. where's your this, line though for what where's, where's the line in the sand when when will peaceful when, when will peaceful discourse no longer be acceptable where's your line where's, the line? where's my line yes uh, my line is when they try to kick in my door my line is when they try to arrest people on the sidewalk for not wearing a mask my line is when they come up to you and tell you hr 6666 says that we can inject you and go to your house and test you my mind sends with dry fire face on that point. My line is where they start to confiscate people's guns, shoot dogs for no dang reason, force people to take the COVID-19 vaccine, force people to wear a mask, violate people's rights, you name it. See, my that's line is being crossed in general. See, my line is what, being crossed every day. But I'm alone. The, One person can't be a martyr. It's not going to do anything. See, that's the vibe I was getting from your videos, is that your line was already crossed. That's why I kind of felt like you were trying to say you were going to spearhead the next civil revolution. Dude, CRS Farms. The line has already been crossed. And be, yet people like you, you keep on redrawing the line. Thus, you enable and embolden the politicians to violate your rights even more. But what do you do? You keep on saying, no, we got to contact our representatives, our the senators. we got to write to the ATF. Well, guess what? You're in jail because they traced your information back to you. Guess what they're going to do with these, with the biggest gun confiscation raids in the history of the U.S.? 
They're going to go to your local mom posh gun shops, your gun retail stores. They're going to obtain 4473 forms, and yet you want to call yourselves patriots. You talk about freedom and rights and all that. You talk about, oh, free men and women don't ask permission to be armed, but yet you literally asked the government permission to be armed the moment you signed the 4473 form. So, yeah, that pretty much is self-explanatory. No, I'm saying the line is being crossed every day, and there's nothing that one person can do on their but own. That's, that's why we must line, mass together and then speak with one voice. So there is no line then, because if it's already been no, crossed... No, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying the line's been crossed for me in my mind. I think that the line has been crossed. You, on the other hand, don't think that it's been crossed, I'm assuming. I'm just not stating a line, because that's not something I would ever go that's on how we play and safe, say. Right? That's how we huh? play safe. That's, that's how you play it safe. Instead of living free and telling people around you, hey, they've crossed the line. They're continuing to cross the line. Every time they cross it, we get those goalposts and we move them further back and we say, don't do it again. And then when they so do it, we move it again. You are currently ready right now to go to war. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think that the line is being, I said the line is being crossed See, every where, day. See, where I have my mental line, that would be it. That's then, then what is your There's mental no line? More. That's what I'm asking you. It's Where's your that mental line? line. You, don't, you don't ever say that publicly. Oh, you don't? No. I'm just saying if your mental line's been... But yet, you showed an auto key card, one of those little things that, that the government doesn't like you having. So you're not going to tell people where the drop, for you where the, drop, uh, the line has been crossed? Jesus Christ, you proved to me, just like Coded Boy 32, Tactical, Raging Rob, Tier 1 Citizen, and especially Zombie Farmer, you're all a bunch of submissive ingrates. A bunch of submissive imbeciles. Seriously. Cross, because at that point... I said it's being crossed every day. It is. And it's not just over, it's not over guns. It's not just over, it's not over free speech. It's not over just one thing. It's over the amalgamation of all of it. It's the fact that we have to sit here and not say what's on our mind when we have a first amendment that says we can speak freely. You won't speak freely. And why is that? Because you're not free. Anyway, but yeah, no, my answer isn't just not doing anything and hiding and waiting for him to shoot, show up and shoot him. That's not what I'm about. I would rather do everything peacefully, even if it goes against what I think is not acceptable. But I do think the letter's plenty acceptable that falls into the bounds and rules of a protest. I, I'm down with it. If that's what you want to do, then that's what you should do. Yeah, I know that that. That's that's why I couldn't understand why you were disagreeing. Because I'm like, I just I think that I think it's a horrible idea, and I don't think that anyone should follow that. That's that's where I stand, and I'm allowed to say that. Oh, I know. Hey, you but can do whatever you want. I think that it's an awful idea. I think anybody can do whatever they want, but you're like actively True. going out there trying to stop people from the letter. No, I, I can't that's stop why, anyone. Words, words don't stop people. That's why I thought like you had some other alternate like. Oh my gosh, here we go. This is going to stop them from changing the definition because that's what the video was about. Changing the definition of a firearm. Hey, there's a comment period. They, they, don't, they don't have the ability to change the definition of a firearm. Oh, they can most definitely change the... They will, and they will shoot people's dogs if they don't comply with it. And, and so and that's, that's okay, though. But that's okay with you, right? As long as no, you wrote your letter, okay. then it's okay. Well, then I don't understand. It would be okay with me if I defended myself, if I've already done everything, like including the letter, showing up the protest, stuff like that, all the peaceful things I could, and they've put me into a corner where there's absolutely no other way to turn. There's no difference in what you just said than what I'm saying, except I don't think that yeah, we should be voting the people the that are going to kick in your door and take your life from you. I don't think that you need to beg the people that are, you, you don't beg your slave owner to stop hitting you with the whip. You either get up and grab the whip or 
you run away or you sit there and you take it. And I feel like what you're saying is we should just sit here and take it for a little longer. And that's what everyone's been saying for years. Just a little longer. Almost. Not yet. Not yet. Just a little longer. Take it a little longer. The alternative I think is we gather together with one voice and speak freely and, and let them do what they're going to do. But speaking well, freely is not violence. You should take it a little bit longer. Because I'm you sorry, what? say that you sh you're so then you are saying you should take it a little bit longer because if you're not, that means you're ready to go to war. No, 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 what you're difference. saying is that you should beg them a little longer. I'm saying stop begging them. I'm saying withdraw your consent. I'm saying everyone everywhere withdraw your consent, gather together, and let them know that your consent has been withdrawn. That's it's what not I'm saying. Begging. It's only begging because you say it's begging. It's the voice of the people saying this is bull. No, Matt, it is begging. I mean, you go out there and you protest and you sue and you vote and you write to the ATF, U.S. Marshals and FBI. Once again, look what, what that got you. You, uh, you contact your representatives and your senators and you practically beg them. You placate to your freaking masters and you tell them, hey, don't enforce this unconstitutional law. Hey, Mr. Senator. Hey, Mr. Representative. Hey, don't. Don't uh, pass this unconstitutional gun control bill. Don't make it. That's exactly what you do. My gosh. Just a bunch of boys in the 2A community. And CRS is one of them. Boys. You're boys. And you all wonder why there's a bunch of women going around saying... I miss the times when men were men. And some people may, can, may come back and say, well, I miss the times where women were women. CRS. The only way to stop a bully is to stand up to the bully. Open a can of whoop ass. Simple. Bullshit. You can't do that. To who? Who are you saying it to? The ATF. To a body of government that has no power. Who would you be protesting? A body of government that you say has no power. A protest but is you, a protest. You're, you're, you're saying you're either that the ATF, or you're going you're to saying war. That the ATF has a constitutional right to regulate and redefine what a firearm is? Nobody is. They don't have but, that. Right. I'm, I'm asking you. Are, are you saying that they have the ability to say that w what and what is not a firearm, to take firearms, to say what is allowed and what is not allowed? Are you saying that that's allowable or not allowable? You know my position. I am for the law. No, I'm, I'm asking you right now. Do you think that the ATF should be able to tell you what you can and cannot have? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it says no. What do you mean it? Oh, I'm it says what do pens. you think? Like it puts the lotion on its skin. It's supposed to be funny. Whatever. Anyway, no, they don't have the ability to do that. However, that is not the world we live in. I operate no, the, the in the world, world we live in, is not the world I would like to live in. What? People set back and allow it. That's why we live in this world. So stand up and stop allowing it. Go there and tell them, hey, You're we're talking not about going to war. That, that's There's either protesting or going you. to war. I'm still saying protest. You're okay. saying placate. The letter is a part of I protesting. I said protest. You said placate. You can't just not call something a protest. I could be like, you guys meeting is not a protest. That's an act of violence. I can't just say that. That's not how things work. Oh, it's not. There's protesting. And once See, those you fail, said that I wanted to be violent. You said that I wanted to take over buildings. You said I wanted to drive a truck and do some pretty, I mean, that, that's some pretty harsh stuff. That's some. That's, that's, that's what that's you're pretty, implying. That's pretty, no, no, that you is not what I how. implied. That is not what I implied. Any, everyone in England, go watch my last three videos. I did not imply that in any way, shape, or form. They don't have to. They just watch. You know, it amazes me that people out there, they make all sorts of false uh, false uh, allegations, accusations, and all that. They falsely assume, assume people as this or that and all that kind of stuff without knowing the person first. But the CRS, you know, when I watched this debate, you lost my respect. You did. Quite honestly. I knew right then and there, especially what, you know, listening to Freedom Inc.'s live streams. That right there proved to me that these wannabe patriots, nothing but 
plastic and paper patriots. They're all talk, no action. All bark, no action. Yet they bark at me and they get bit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's simple. It really is simple. But apparently, there are some people who have to comp uh, complicate things. you yeah I, i've never implied that one time i'm not implying that right now i'm saying that the people should gather together withdraw their consent let the government know you have no more control over us and then live life that's what i think and if someone wants to come to your house and hurt you after that then defend yourself so you say government you have no more control over me and they say yes i do and then you're just going to walk away you're going to placate to them no i'm, I'm not going to walk away if they come after me if they come after you, not you, don't after you. you just said that if they back you into a corner and all peaceful avenues are removed, then you're going to do something. No. I'm saying the same thing. I'm you're saying, saying the different thing. You're like, no, I'm going to declare they no longer have power over me. They what don't. about if they say yes? And what no, about if they withdraw say the consent, yes? Withdraw your consent and then whatever happens, happens. It is it is your duty. All, all, of, these, all of these war, things that you but. claim to understand, you, I don't think you really have a full grasp on what it means. Well, I don't think it's time for war, so I'm not cool with that. I'm, no, I'm not saying go to the peaceful war. options. I'm not you want to go to war. You keep saying that. That's what you're saying. That is not what I'm saying. You have two options. You can protest peacefully. After that's been gone, there's no more things you can do. You've exhausted What's the everything. Difference in, uh, so you're saying you can protest by writing a letter, and then you can protest yes, by standing that is, outside. In fact, and if protest. that doesn't work and they take all peaceful things, then you can defend yourself. I said the same thing, except I'm saying don't write them and beg them. Tell them. Well, however you gotta, whatever you gotta tell yourself to sleep at night. The point no, is, no, that's right. Whatever it you does tell yourself to sleep at night. Really when you try like to, you're I, it really does we're, sound we're, like we're, you're implying it's time for war. No, that, that's not that. what I'm doing. And, and and with your with your community post where you where you show the picture of my AR in the background, and I mean that's isn't that uh, kind of like informant status right there? Kind of like placating, if you ask me. Okay, it kind of sounds like you're trying to be an informant, like you're trying to draw attention to someone, like you're trying to say or bait people into saying things that they never said. Whatever you got to spin it. That is a pistol brace oh, because you are placating to a government all that does not exist. You what you did. You literally went on there. All you people who have pistol braces, don't tell him because he wants to go and tell him. He wants to go write you out. He wants to let everyone know. It's not like I'm afraid. I put it at the end of every one of my videos. It's the whole closer of my video. If you put a afraid. third hole that you illegally drilled or an SBR you illegally made, that would be a different story. But saying no, a pistol I'm, brace. I'm sorry, what? Tell me you didn't buy that pistol brace because you wanted an SBR without a fucking tax stamp. That is a placate that's to the ATF, which that's is exactly what you're accusing me of. I don't know you're talking, That's of. a pistol, man. That's a pistol, ain't it? Yes. Well, um, CRS Farms, you want to talk about the dry fire faith placating whatever and all that kind of stuff but really your first gun i'm pretty sure you bought put together and all that kind of stuff you probably got a smith the wesson handgun but who knows whatever for many manufacturers already built that's what you did you placated to your masters begging them for permission to own this or that farm that you got your first farm look in the mirror bub you're a hypocrite, just like everybody else. Isn't that what you say all the time? It's a pistol. That's a pistol. Exactly. Is it not a pistol? I agree. Oh, oh, now you agree. Now now that you could be lumped into the same thing, now you agree. So why don't you're the put a stock on it? Out and draw attention to everyone around the world that, hey, look, this guy has Because a that would break. make it an SBR. When the ATF, and they would so when the up, ATF says that we can't have this no more, they're going to come to his house. That's what you're trying to do. That's exactly what you're trying to do. You guys, so basically you won't put a rest. stock on it because a government that you said doesn't exist says you can't. Oh, okay. And 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 what are you, what are you doing? You're trying to get the government that you say that you're against to go after someone who that you say you agree with. Dude, a pistol brace is legal. I'm saying, why oh, don't you now, stock now, there? now it's not a big deal. But before you were saying, look at this. Whatever, you're talking in circles. I uh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. Speaking of talking in circles.
you did the same thing. CRS Farms. Dude, you're, you're a hypocrite. You know, I do feel sorry for you, what happened to you. But, you know, then again, you placating to your masters, you being submissive, being a good little boy, right? Is what got you in prison, uh, prison right now, in jail. No, you're just talking in circles. You, you all do the same thing. Believe me. Get all pissed off because the cops brutally murdered Duncan Lemp and Gary Willis in cold blood and gun confiscation raids. Oh, boo-hoo. I mean, what happened to Duncan Lemp and Gary Willis? What happened to Sean Rowe and Chelsea Kirk? Should have been, a civil war should have been started, but no. We gotta be submissive, guys. Give me a break. A bunch of freaking hypocrites hypocrites i think that you're kind of dodging the actual question well no it's true why, you why don't you have a stock on there why don't you openly show an sbr because that would have that would cause the attention of a government you said don't exist to come to you i didn't say they don't exist i have not one time said that they don't exist whatever i did not go ahead i've never one time said that the government does not exist because they do that's, that, that is, it's a mood argument. Yeah, so is your mood argument that you're begging and bowing down by writing a letter, yes, even you though are. you do the same thing by Yes, you are. You are begging down. You're also was, begging hey, and bowing down brand? by using a pistol well, brace what's your instead brand? of a I'm asking you, what's your brand? Is it, is it Red Wings? Is it Ariots? You know, what's the brand of boot? What, what's your favorite kind of boot? But anyway, anyway, so apparently we established your disagreement. It's with the letter period. You're okay with some protesting, but not others because some is placating, not others. Your plan is to meet on June 26th. June 26th, which is a... Saturday. Yep, Saturday. That's, according to what you say. So. Everybody show up to his thing. Thank you for coming out. No, everyone show up in your own town, in your own state capital, in your own cities, oh, and yeah. let your voice be heard there for all freedom, not just for guns, all freedom. It's not about me. It's not about one person. It's about everyone getting together and having their own voice. There is no leader, right? We should all We should all be on equal footing. We should all want the same thing. Right? Oh, yeah, I agree. We all are. Well, most of us. I'm not seeing any more questions. Oh, I see a question for you. I lost it. Dry fire, can you please explain? Oh, never mind. That's something we already covered. I think we got about everything. Uh, crazy. Crazy Crumbs 3 says, why congregate and put your face out there? We're stronger as an anonymous community when shit hits the fan. Uh, I disagree because thus far, that's all we've been doing for about 18 years is everyone sits back and they hide behind their keyboard and they don't ever get out there and do anything for freedom. And I think that it's very important that we actually put feet on the road and try to do something as opposed to just sitting behind a keyboard and ticky tacking away. It's not helping anything. It's it's Make yourself redundant. heard. I'm going to have to disagree with Drive Fire Faith and CRS Farms because it's a known fact that there are fake triots, FUDs, local and state cops, and the ATF 
U.S. Marshals and FBI agents are infiltrating militias, pro-2A rallies, anti-vaccine mandate protests, and anti-mask mandate protests looking to throw people like you underneath the bus. So, yeah. What is 501c3? I know uh, that number, but it's not ringing a bell. Oh, that's a uh, nonprofit. What? Nonprofit? What? What? I'm sorry? A 501c3, it's a nonprofit. Oh. Silver Wings 21. No, no, that's a mostly peaceful protest. That was a joke. You get it? It says, yes, peaceful protests like Antifa, BLM, mostly peaceful. <laughs> Is that the actual words they used was mostly? No, 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 no. Uh, that's what the news said. No, on yeah, the news. Mostly. mostly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. burn a building out. Oh, they're mostly peaceful. Is there a reason why we're uh, blocking people's comments in the chat or? It's auto. I actually don't have a moderator in right now. Uh, any links, curse words, something like that, it's going to get auto blocked. So Suburban Homestead Outfitters, he says, in every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress in, most, in the most humble terms. Our repeated pet, uh, petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. I would agree with you. Every time that we have petitioned, it has done nothing for us. Every time that we petition through the ATF, it's done nothing but put a boot on our throat. I don't know, it worked out pretty good in the civil rights movement of the 60s. That was against the ATF? No, against the government. Oh. Mostly just to get people's attention. And <clears throat> what happened in the those those days with the civil rights movement is totally different compared to what's happening today. What happened in um, 2008 during the Heller versus District of Columbia case, which was did more 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 uh, harm on gun rights than good. Much more different what's going on today and all that crs you know like once again dry fire faith completely owned you in this debate make another race of people notice but still still a protest that worked but all right i'm not seeing anything else pop up is there anything you want to hit before we jump off mm. Because they're the important ones. They're the ones that we're here to start ideas. So uh, this individual, the A-team, they said emails can easily be deleted. Um, think about Hillary, right? Emails can easily <laughs> be deleted. Giant groups of people aren't, right? But you see what I'm the saying? Hillary joke. <laughs> Well, I don't want to take up your whole evening. I appreciate you having me on and giving me the opportunity to speak for myself, like I said. Uh, if if you don't want to continue talking about anything, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Well, the, I don't, I don't want to just sit here and frustrate anyone or, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm not here for FaceTime. If you want you know? to bounce, you can, but the comments are the ones that are important because they're the people that they oh. want to know. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I, 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 I have a problem hearing you. What you're saying. Sorry about that. Uh, no, if you want to bounce, you can, but the comments are, that that's what's important. That's what we're here for is them. So I always try to make sure to get as many of them as possible. Did you want to take off? Glorfac, at Dry Fire Faith, when did you become such a Chad? I was unaware. Thank you for letting me know. By the way, if you guys think that you can roast me and hurt my feelings, you can't. My stepdad called me Giselda for... 15 years. Explain right? the joke. I was curious about that. Uh, there, there is no joke. My stepdad hated me. Rule number one was don't be a fag. Rule number oh, two know, was don't be 
rule number three was revert to rule one and two. So if, if someone thinks that they can hurt my feeling, it's, I'm it's saying not gonna... like, is it, uh, what the hell, like a section of your name put together or did it have some no. secret meaning behind it? No. Whenever you hear the word Giselda, do you think of a really strong man or do you think of like the I've never heard of the word before. I actually think of like have... Zelda with the sword and fighting no, bad guys. No. It's not that. Giselda is like, it, you know, like a babushka, like in Russia, you know, like the old lady that has the blanket over her head and looks like she's starving to death. That's that's what Giselda is. He was calling me a feeble bitch. Okay. Yeah. Then I didn't understand the context. Yeah, it's you're, you're not going to hurt my feelings by calling me a Chad, y'all. What's a Chad? What's a Chad? Do what? What's a Chad? I've never heard that derogatory name uh, before. I, I'm, I'm assuming that a Chad is like a Karen, I, I, I would assume, or some pompous a-hole. I'm, I'm not sure, but I would assume that it's something along those lines. So Wolfred says, at Dry Fire Faith, why have we never seen you protesting in Texas? We've been out there so many times, never seen you once. You've seen everyone at every protest in Texas? Good Lord, you must be omniscient. You want to kind of skip over comments like that and get to actual legitimate direct questions. I mean, that's, that's that the majority of what's, what's going on right now is it's it's digressing into ad hominems. So if that's all there is Just to read, I don't skip know. over them. They can ad hominem the shit out of whatever they want. Look for direct questions and people that have real questions. I've seen something about a school, but I missed it. Where the hell did it go? So uh, Loki Sky says, at Drive Fire Faith, where can we connect with you outside of YouTube to have dialogues that aren't full of red coat uh, apologetics? Huh? You can most definitely find me on float.app, Drive Fire Faith. You can find me on Twitter. I don't know how often I have ever checked Twitter. Do you have a Discord? Uh, I, I do. I, I think I, I'm i part of Discord, but I don't have my own Discord channel. No, sir. Um, I'm also on LBRY, but they I don't think that they have comments. So if you want to leave a comment, I also have a, I have an email. It's, it's on my uh, About Me section of my channel. You can go ahead and go to that and look it up. What gun would I own? What gun would I own in the world? I don't know. That's a good question. Probably a lever action like 357 or 45 long colt. What was the question? I'm sorry. What gun would you own if you couldn't have a semi-auto and it had a limitation of 10 rounds? If if I couldn't have a semi-automatic, as in like they weren't allowable, I, I, what do you mean? Like, uh, well, that's the parameters of the question. You can't have a semi-auto. So like, we're cowboys, all right. If I was a cowboy, then I would want a uh, 1875 Outlaw or or a Colt Dragoon. That's what I would take. Suburban Homestead Outfitters. What does this letter actually say? Uh, so. Pretty much you give your name, you give your your state, your address, your zip code, all of that. And then you state, uh, you know, this law would affect me in this way because I myself partake in 80% lowers or, you know, I, I buy parts for guns and modify guns. That's that's what the letter is saying is please don't take these things from me because I like them. You can do it anonymously too, but instead of saying something like that, I'd probably say something like... Uh, You've already defined the definition of a firearm and you don't have the authority to change it. That would take an act of Congress. Something to that effect. Just putting out your disagreement so they hear it. Oh, here's that school one again. Ha! All right, what do we got here? I got it on the screen. School. 
School boards won't fund metal detectors, school watchdogs, or locking doors. Repeat this. What, what does that mean? I don't know. I, I thought I was reading it wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, what are we repeating? I, I read it. I don't know. I think anarchy is catching on. Eh, well, I, uh, I believe in a voluntary society, you know, an at will union. That's why it said at will because it was a voluntary society, not a social contract. Why are guns the problem? They're not. What are they? What, what, what problem? It seems are like saying? a legitimate question. So why are guns the problem with what? I'm just hoping you had an answer. I'm, I'm kind of at a right. loss for that one. Crazy Chrome Street, I restate your question. I, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what you're saying, man. Maybe he was having a conversation with someone else. Because, dude, the chat's really cruising here. I'm having a hell of a time keeping up. Yeah, they're going fast. Damn it! I lost that one, and that one seemed good too. Work oh, hustle. Something about I don't know school. who your brother is, but. If I disrespected anyone, apologies. All right. Why are people firearms issue? One? So techno man. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you had that back up. Why are people phrasing firearms as an issue when people won't pay to secure schools? I mean, I kind of understand what you're saying. Uh, it, what, what, what they're saying is uh, they're they're complaining that schools are being shot up when they're not willing to adequately protect them, I, I think is what what they're trying to get at. Oh, I'm down with making that. I would say because it lends credence to their argument that guns are evil. You know, if, if they show that, oh, it's such a soft target, well, then don't make it soft. Oh, I agree they could harden it up, but then it would just become like, God, I don't even want to say it stuff out loud because somebody might get ideas. But I, I think it would switch to another similar target. Um, I went to a school that had unlocked doors and everything, so I can't relate with it, but I'm kind of old, so... So Technoman2040 says, uh, CRS, dry fire. Damn it, what are you willing to sacrifice? I'm in California. If only one stands up, nothing will happen. But if 10 million are willing to, then it might uh, then it might work. I won't be a martyr alone. Well, I agree with you. And that's why I think that we should all gather together on the 26th of June and asseverate, declare your freedom, declare that you are independent. That's, I, I think that if, if we get enough people together and there's enough of us standing there, then it has to be acknowledged in one way or another. Oh, I think you've got to make people acknowledge it first. You have to like shut down a road or something like that, but I don't think you can scare nah, the shit out of the people. Don't shut down a road, especially if you're in Texas, because if you're in Oklahoma or Texas, you try to shut down a road, people are allowed to treat you like a speed bump. <laughs> but yeah, I think there'd have to be some sort of march where you're put in front of people that don't care about the issue, that see the issue without having the living shit scared out of them, to make them sympathetic to the issue, or at least Google it. So Suburban Homestead Outfitters is asking UCRS, he says, shouldn't the letter follow the model of the Declaration of Independence? Uh, I think that what he's saying is he, you know, lists the problems that, you know, like the, the liberty that we have and the freedoms that we have, right? And then it goes on to say he has, you know, referring to King George, you should be able to point out everything that's wrong, everything that's happened, instead of just pointing out one little thing, and that's what he's saying. Shouldn't it be more along the lines of pointing out everything that they've done in their illegitimate ways? I think the best letter would actually be just copying and paste the fucking Second Amendment, but any letter that's repeated will go into a spam folder and discarded. So you got to come up with something creative, but that's kind of how I would wrap my head around it. So Triple Six Funk says, uh, What do you think of states becoming sanctuary states? And do you think these politicians? Have our freedoms uh, in heart, or do you think that they just want our vote? Uh, That's I mean, a big I one. They definitely want their vote. I think that every state, every city, every county, that is a Second Amendment sanctuary, isn't it? Because the government has no right to overstep that bounds. That's what the preamble to, dec to the Declaration of Independence says. It says that these are further restrictions upon them. Not a right that you retain, but something that they're not allowed to touch. So, yes, every everything should be. I mean, it's just like when they say constitutional carry. Why do you need to make a law when there already is I think is a he law? was saying more like, is it a gimmick to get a vote, or do you think that could actually work? Because, I mean, already the feds are not supposed uh, to have well, any control inside the I state. I think it's probably a gimmick. I, I
Of course, it's a gimmick. It really is a gimmick. The politicians, the Republicans, and the Democrats, they, all they care about is getting the votes. They say the same things over and over again. See, it's not just about, you know, hey, I'm going to, you know, like uh, Beto Wark, whatever his name. He said, oh, yes, we're going to take your AR, the AK-47, blah, 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 blah. Everybody was all on, on board with that. And then everybody who was a liberal was on board with that. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, all these p politicians, they talk about health care, making it affordable and all that kind of stuff. But when it can, comes down to it, when it's time to get down to the nitty gritty, it's like they're prompt, you know, the promise that they made seems like they they don't want to fulfill that promise to make health care affordable and all that. So it is, it is a gimmick. It really is. I think I think that it's a gimmick because if if they truly believed in the Second Amendment, then that's all that they would need is to say, "Hey, we can't do anything. We need to repeal if, all prior gun laws." Yeah, if we see any federal agents operating in this state, we'll we'll arrest them. Exactly. That would be effective. That would be very effective. But like I said, paper doesn't have teeth. We are those teeth. So. GB, dry fire faith. Do you pay your taxes? Do you answer all the questions that people ask you on the internet? No, you shouldn't. You pick up direct <laughs> questions that are good, that have a good conversation. Dry fire faith. Do you think that Texas will uphold 26, 22, and 957? I'm thinking large cities won't give a crap about them. Oh. I don't, and, and I, I think that that's what the problem is, is I don't think that the solution to our situation is to make more legislation. I think it's to repeal the prior things that are unconstitutional. So everything that's unconstitutional in lieu of search and seizure and in lieu of free speech zones, right? Because these are real things where you only are allowed to exercise your free speech in certain areas. That goes against the constitution. First Amendment says shall not or cannot be abridged, right? Your First Amendment cannot be abridged. And your First Amendment is religion, assembly, petition, press, and speech. And as soon as the government tries to regulate any one of those, it's null and void, right? Because it's outside of their their course of action. They shouldn't even be allowed to touch it. They're not. Yeah, allowed but I think to touch they're it. I think they're getting around that with having all the communication platforms a private agency. It's kind of bullshit. And what's really bullshit is they claim like this is an open platform, but then they moderate it, so it should be well, no, a it's publishment. No, definitely not an open platform. Yeah, and because YouTube, it, God, I don't want to talk bad about them, but don't you know, wake up and my channel's gone. Because <laughs> I mean, they get tax breaks and everything for filing as an open platform, but they're not an open platform. Well, I mean, how did they? Uh, how did how did they even get their start? They got their start from people going on here and putting on videos, random people, no editing, no polishing, no nothing, just random people going on and showing people things about their lives. And then all of a sudden they turn around and stab you in the back. So I'm not a big fan of the tubes. Yeah, the they tubes. were actually at it with, I think it was Vivo or something like that. And then YouTube brought in the partner program and then they just blew right past Vivo. I might not be saying that right. Vivo. Venvo. Venvo. Ven is that right? Venmo, I think is how it's pronounced. All right, guys, get in your last questions. Um, obviously, make them good. Otherwise, they'll just probably get skipped over. So Josh Black says, uh, dry fire faith, protest with signs and flags or armed. I think you should protest in any way that you feel comfortable. As long as you're not going out there to, to be harmful to anyone, there's no difference between you going out there and protesting armed now as opposed to open carry Texas. It's the same thing. You want to be free then, you want to be free now. You're exercising a freedom. That's all See, you're I'm doing. More I'm more on the lines of protesting unarmed because otherwise it kind of puts you in a situation if something were to come, you the only option you really got is using your gun. Because I was watching like Honestly, this one guy. You should, you should definitely look into Murdoch Pisgotti and Matthew Short and what they did in Texas because people people told them the same thing. And what happened is the police were extremely polite to them. Yeah. So like I was watching this one guy who was in 
a protest and he had to keep both hands on his rifle because they had him completely surrounded and like literally picking shit out of his carrier. And I'm like, oh yeah, I probably do things a bit differently. Maybe go heavy on like the pepper spray and less than lethal so I can open up if I have to. I mean, it's probably not going to save me in court, but at least I won't feel guilty about mo murdering a bunch of people that are just being murdered for being stupid. Well, I mean, if, if anyone decides to use any of their accoutrements, you're responsible for what happens. You can't blame anyone else. Right you're responsible for whatever comes out of the end of that barrel. Yeah, he was like trying to hold his elbow on his pistol so they wouldn't take his pistol. He had both his both of his hands on his rifle, and they're just emptying his plate carrier. And oh, it was it was painful to watch. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but all right, well, thank you for coming on. Well, I appreciate you having me. Like I said, thank you for letting yeah, me speak for myself. I'll probably bring you on again at some point because I'm sure you want That's to. That's fine right? with me. No, I'm sorry. Um, what's that? I, I I have bad hearing. I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, yeah. I'll bring you on again probably at some point because I'm sure you want to, and I like to have repeat guests on. So I will catch up with you. Eh, usually about a month is where I'll wait, and then I'll bring the same person back on if they're willing to come back on. That's fine with me. All right. You have a good night. You too. I appreciate you.